Jesus can heal you. Come to Jesus, your Savior. The healing ministry of Jesus Christ is a testament to his divine power and compassion. Throughout the Gospels, we encounter numerous accounts of Jesus healing the sick, restoring sight to the blind, and even raising the dead. These miraculous acts not only demonstrate his authority over sickness and disease, but also reveal his deep love and concern for the physical and spiritual well-being of humanity. In this video, we will explore the profound significance of Jesus' healing ministry, its relevance today, and the transformative power of faith in experiencing divine healing. The healing ministry of Jesus Christ, Jesus' healing ministry, was central to his mission on earth. He not only preached about the kingdom of God, but also demonstrated its reality through miraculous healings. In Matthew 4, 24 it is written, And he went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, those having seizures and paralytics, and he healed them. These verses highlight the comprehensive nature of Jesus' healing ministry. He didn't discriminate based on the severity or type of illness, but extended his healing touch to all who came to him in faith. Whether it was a physical ailment, mental torment, or spiritual bondage, Jesus demonstrated his power to bring wholeness and restoration. This is the types of healings done by Jesus' physical healings. Jesus healed various physical ailments, including blindness, Mark 8, 22, 26, leprosy, Luke 17, 11, 19, paralysis, Matthew 9, 1, 8, and even terminal illnesses like the woman with the issue of blood, Mark 5, 25, 34, and Lazarus, who was raised from the dead, John 11, 1, 44. Mental and emotional healings. Jesus also addressed mental and emotional distress, such as casting out demons from the possessed, Mark 5, 1, 20, and offering peace to troubled hearts, John 14, 27. Spiritual healings. Beyond physical and mental healings, Jesus offered spiritual healing, forgiving sins, and reconciling sinners to God, Mark 2, 1, 12. The power of faith in healing. One of the recurring themes in the Gospels is the connection between faith and healing. Countless instances illustrate how faith served as the catalyst for experiencing Jesus' healing power. In Matthew 9, 22, Jesus tells the woman with the issue of blood, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. Similarly, in Luke 17, 19, after healing 10 lepers, Jesus says to the one who returned to give thanks, rise and go, your faith has made you well. This emphasis on faith underscores the importance of trust and belief in Jesus' ability to heal. Faith is not merely a passive acknowledgement, but an active response that opens the door for divine intervention. It is a confident assurance that God's promises are true, including the promise of healing and restoration. Challenges to believing in divine healing. While the concept of divine healing is central to Christian faith, it is not without its challenges and controversies. Some skeptics question the validity of miraculous healings, attributing them to natural phenomena or psychological factors. Others struggle with unanswered prayers for healing, wrestling with doubts and theological questions about God's sovereignty and purpose. Addressing these challenges requires a nuanced understanding of faith, healing, and God's ways. It's essential to recognize that divine healing does not always conform to human expectations or timelines. God's ways are higher than ours, and His purposes extend beyond immediate physical healing to include spiritual growth, character development, and the ultimate restoration of all things in eternity. Testimonies of Divine Healing Despite the challenges and skepticism, countless testimonies bear witness to the reality of divine healing in people's lives. Stories abound of individuals who have experienced miraculous recoveries from terminal illnesses, disabilities, and emotional traumas through prayer and faith in Jesus Christ. One such testimony is that of Joni Erickson Tata, who became a quadriplegic at the age of 17 due to a diving accident. Despite her profound disability, Joni's faith in God's healing power remained steadfast. Over the years, she has experienced physical and emotional healing beyond medical explanation becoming a beacon of hope and inspiration to millions around the world. Another testimony is the healing of Nick Vujicic, born without arms and legs. Nick's journey of faith and resilience has touched countless lives as he testifies to God's transformative power and purpose even in the midst of adversity. These testimonies, along with numerous others, serve as powerful reminders that divine healing is not just a historical event, but a present reality for those who believe. The role of prayer and intercession. Prayer plays a vital role in experiencing divine healing. 
Jesus himself modeled a life of prayer, often retreating to solitary places to commune with his Father. In Mark 1.35, it is written, And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. Likewise, believers are encouraged to pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians 5.17, and to present their request to God with faith and thanksgiving, Philippians 4.6.7. Prayer is not just a religious ritual, but a heartfelt communication with God, aligning our desires with His will and trusting in His perfect timing and wisdom. Intercessory prayer, where believers pray on behalf of others, is also powerful in the context of healing. James 5.16 encourages us to confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. The role of medical science and faith. The relationship between medical science and faith in divine healing is a complex yet significant aspect of the discussion. While some view medical treatment and faith as mutually exclusive, others recognize the complementary nature of both approaches in promoting holistic well-being. Medical science has made remarkable advancements in diagnosing and treating illnesses, offering hope and relief to millions. However, it's important to acknowledge that medicine alone cannot address the spiritual and emotional dimensions of healing. Faith in Jesus Christ complements medical treatment by addressing the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. Moreover, many medical professionals themselves acknowledge the role of faith and spirituality in healing. Studies have shown that patients with strong religious beliefs often experience better health outcomes, including faster recovery rates and improved quality of life. The Mystery of Unanswered Prayers One of the perplexing aspects of divine healing is the reality of unanswered prayers. Despite fervent faith and sincere petitions, not every illness is miraculously healed in this life. This mystery challenges our understanding of God's sovereignty, human suffering, and the ultimate purpose of healing. In his book, The Problem of Pain, C.S. Lewis grapples with the question of suffering and offers profound insights into the mystery of unanswered prayers. He writes, We are not necessarily doubting that God will do the best for us. We are wondering how painful the best will turn out to be. While we may not always understand God's ways, we can trust in His goodness and sovereignty. Sometimes the greatest healing comes not in physical restoration, but in spiritual transformation, drawing us closer to God and shaping us into vessels of His grace and compassion. The call to faith and trust. In conclusion, the divine healing power of Jesus Christ is a profound testament to His love, mercy, and authority. Through His ministry, Jesus not only demonstrated His power over sickness and disease, but also revealed the transformative impact of faith and trust in God. As believers, we are called to embrace a faith that transcends circumstances and anchors itself in the unchanging character of God. We are called to pray with boldness, to believe with unwavering confidence, and to trust in God's perfect timing and purpose. While we may encounter challenges, doubts, and unanswered prayers along the journey, we can take comfort in the words of Jesus in John 14, 1. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In him we find hope, healing, and the promise of eternal wholeness in his presence. May the divine healing power of Jesus Christ continue to touch lives, restore brokenness, and bring forth miracles that testify to his glory and grace.